Hi, I'm Sue Thomas and I'm a BSD Prayer Buddy. I wanted to share a little bit about a retreat I went on last month. When I started a course in September and I was told I was going to have a weekend retreat, I was really looking forward to it. It was scheduled for the second weekend in May, but as you can imagine, it was cancelled. So when we were told we were going to have the retreat at home instead, I was really dubious. Couldn't see how it was going to work. Uh, but actually, it was really worthwhile. I think having a retreat in your usual setting when you're doing your normal thing, or as normal as it can be during these COVID times, but when you're doing in your normal routine and then you bring spiritual practices and reflections into that, I think I've got more chance personally of carrying on with those than if I'd have gone away for a weekend. So at the end of the retreat, we were asked to write down uh, the things that really stood out to us, what we'd learned. So I'm just going to share a few of those with you today. To start with, technology. I'm terrible. I open my laptop. I have all good intentions to do what I'm supposed to be doing, but I get distracted. Emails come in. I feel I should answer them quickly. Um, and I get distracted looking at links and all sorts. What was suggested was, um, first of all, decide when you're going to open your laptop so that we're in charge of the technology, not the other way around, which was one of my problems. Uh, and then before we do so, to actually pray and commit the time to uh, ask for God to help us use it wisely and productively. Um, I find that helpful when I remember to do it. I find that really helpful. Secondly, silence. Just enjoying that silent time with God. Um, and I was rubbish at this. Uh, it was in January I came across Centred Prayer. Um, you've probably already heard of it. If not, maybe look it up. I found it really, really valuable. That space where I could forget about other things, um, the stuff that was going on in my head. I don't always manage to set it aside, but generally when I'm in, I use an app on my phone now, uh, when I'm in that space, I just find it a place where I can listen to God and hear him. Um, so if you've not tried that already, maybe give it a go. It was also suggested at the beginning of the day before you did anything else. Uh, I do let the dog out though, because he'd struggle otherwise. Uh, but before making yourself a drink, just get your journal out and just download the thoughts of your head. So it could be a dream, it could be something that's been uh, on your mind during the evening or during the, the night, or it could just be something that pops into your head. Just write them down. Uh, sometimes it's just a load of drivel, to be honest. But other times I've found there's been valuable things that I can reflect on. Um, and then another thing related to my journal, I've got a, at the back of my journal, I've got two pages where I just have lists of people and um, just a little note next to them about what I'm going to pray for them about. And I've got family members, godchildren, um, as well as people who've, who've um, I've said I'll pray for. And I used to feel really guilty because I'd go through it and I'd find I could probably only do a section of it. And then I, I, it was just taking so much time. But what they said, the, the retreat leader suggested was just saying the name. So presenting them in front of God, just saying their name, committing the, that time to think about them and to, um, to ask God to be with them. But just by saying the name, that was so, that, that relieved me of that guilt that I was feeling. And now I can do every name on, on those two pages each day. So uh, I'm delighted about that. I've got six children and nine grandchildren, so I was just getting bogged down just starting with my own family. Um, and then uh, the next thing that, uh, that we were suggested that we did was um, think about um, God's presence in what we're doing. So he suggested stomping, well, I call this stomping, but walking as fast as you can with the purpose of getting to wherever you're going. I'll just keep it a short distance. So mine was down to the bottom of the garden. So get down there as fast as you possibly can and then walk back looking at the things around you, noticing the smells, noticing the sounds, noticing God. Um, and I love that. Um, and that's something that I, I am continuing to do. I'm finding it just a space that I can spend with God that I wouldn't expect to otherwise. Then lastly, on the Thursday before we finished, we were asked to think about our uh, personality profile. So suggested maybe look at Myers-Briggs, uh, Enneagram or, or some other means, just to be a little bit more self-aware. So I'd intended doing that, I hadn't got around to it. 
half 11 that morning, my daughter, eldest daughter, WhatsApped uh, me to say, well, she put it in the WhatsApp group for our family to ask if anybody knew what their Myers-Briggs profile was. So uh, we th both thought that this was God telling us that we needed to go on to this. So the whole family did it. Uh, we learned more about ourselves, more about each other, and also uh, the things that were, were helpful to each other. Uh, so that's something that I, I really found valuable and I'd recommend to anybody. Um, well, I think I've gone a little bit over five minutes. Uh, it's good to, to have this opportunity. So thank you, Hannah. And God bless you all. And I look forward to seeing you um, when we have chance to.